awesome to speak to you. Uh, I got Thank to check you. out the, the artwork earlier today and really phenomenal piece. And I know you've done work for this franchise before, I think for a French mm -hmm. uh, book that came out a few years ago. But I was wondering if you could start by talking about how you came to be involved with this project and to do this okay. with Mark. Yeah, so uh, I did that, the, the cover for Tune, um, which is the French edition of My Hero Academia, which came about because Apparently, the artist and creator of My Hero Academia is a fan of uh, my work, which, you know, I'm not sure I believe it, but I think that it could be possible because he does seem to have American influences, uh, you know, but uh, so I did that because, of course, I wanted to work on My Hero Academia and it's a global phenomenon and my kids are super into it. Uh, and I was into it, you know, like I had read some of the volumes and uh, watched a little bit of the anime, but I ended up getting into it from that point and uh, watching a bunch of it. And uh, my kids are all caught up on the, the manga. So, uh, yeah, basically I did that piece. And then, um, you know, a couple years passed and Funimation was, you know, looking to do something. And so they contacted me. Uh, they must have seen that piece and we went from there. Oh, that's awesome. And of course, anime, it does have such a distinct style. So did you mm -hmm. find that played into your process when you were approaching this piece? Or was it very much just you wanted to approach it as you would any other artwork? Well, I, I did approach it as I would any other artwork because I think that the idea was sort of to get the uh, my style on My Hero Academia. But I'm heavily influenced by manga already. So, I mean, like heavily. Uh, some of my favorite stuff growing up was, uh, you know, Akira. That's where I learned how to do action scenes. Uh, Battle Angel Alita I was huge into um, you know all kinds of stuff I was Gunsmith Cats was a big one for me um, I was really into anime at a young age and uh, almost almost equally with the American comics that I was reading so um, the I don't necessarily I wouldn't say that I draw like if I went and did a manga comic it would look completely different than they do there but there's major influences in my work so it, it's not like a bridge that's too far for me to you know get across for to do something like that yeah absolutely and i know you mentioned your kids love in this franchise but how did you find an interest in it and i clearly i can tell you're a fan so how did that develop well really i th i think that it was that my son started reading it because he reads every shonen jump manga that comes out um and so it got in my head i heard about it and then one of my friends was like you know i've I have friends that work in comics and they're all into the same stuff I'm into. And one of them was saying how cool the show was. So I went and watched a couple episodes and I was like, Oh, I, you know, maybe I'll read that. And I bought some of the volumes and then, you know, I got to share, you know, that sort of experience with my son. And then we started watching the series and, you know, it just kind of ballooned from there where, you know, it's one of those things where you just, you sort of hear a couple things, you know, it kind of drips into your life and then you're like, I'm going to give that a shot. And that's kind yeah, of Yeah, absolutely. And of course, I think people will know you, of course, for your comic book work and fans are so used to seeing comic books come out weekly and monthly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if everyone appreciates obviously how much work goes into a piece like this you created. So can you talk, talk through what your process was and exactly how long it maybe took you from start to finish? Okay, yeah. Um, one of the things that happens is every, so I, I, I'll get on in a groove with, with what I'm working on. Like right now I'm working on my creator own project. It's, uh, called Vanish that we, um, you know, I now am into issue two, I'm almost done with issue two. And so I've been drawing these pages and I know how to do that thing. Inevitably, when you, when you do something like this, where I don't draw these characters every day and, I, and I've never drawn Fleck Turn um, prior to this, uh, you, start to, you start the piece and you realize, oh, this is gonna take a lot longer because now I have to get like the feel for this character. And uh, so, you know, it was one of those things um, where Inflecturn, quite frankly, well, and Deku have a lot more knickknacks on their costume than you would think, you know, uh, like, like I can draw Spider-Man at this point with my eyes closed, but these characters have, you know, pouches and like some of the stuff on Deku's outfit is, is, is kind of crazy. And then Flecturn has those, uh, you know, opal looking, I don't even know how to describe them, <laughs> things flying around. So, uh basically i start with the layout and then i have to add the, i have to come up with the poses and then i have to add the um the sort of uh knickknacks that are all over them um which takes a while so like 
a layout like that would normally take me for for this piece would normally take me two hours maybe an hour if 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 i'm if i know what i'm doing if i know the characters but this one took you know a good half day uh to get down and then um we i sent in the layout and one of the things that when you're working with a licensor and there's several people in the chain of command you have to really nail down the layout which we did you know like they, they had some changes and i was able to go in and make those changes quickly and then um once the changes were made i went right into pencils and just drew it and uh that was you know that was the whole process uh they, they really didn't have many notes once i once i actually penciled it and um because we had you know made all the changes early and then i would say that the actual drawing probably took me um once the layout was done another day so all in all about a day and a half to draw this and then of course the inker then takes a day or two to ink it and then the colorist takes a day to to color it so the whole process probably takes about you know that's three and a half days of working on that but there's a lot of emailing and discussion in between you know so it's it's a whole thing and i know this piece hasn't been revealed yet so i'm not sure who actually joined you as an inker and a colorist on it so who were that team and, and what was it like collaborating with them on the piece as well um so jp mayer uh is my is the inker that i work with pretty much exclusively at this point um he did all of my venom stuff and he's working with me on vanish um my the creator own book and uh he and uh sonia oback colored the um the piece and she will be coloring vanish also so we're kind of like a team um that you know i i really enjoy working with them and i know that i'm going to get the best quality work out of them um so yeah that it, it was it's as usual great working with them they're both very professional and very good at their jobs so yeah well, that's awesome and as i said before th this is such a an amazing piece of artwork and I, I cannot wait for people to see it but what did you enjoy most about creating this battle between these two characters um well I, uh, I absolutely love to um, draw two characters fighting each other like that is a lot of times editors will send me, you know, like if, if for a Marvel cover or any other project, they'll send me like, you know, here's some ideas, you know, like, what's this, uh, you know, like, like, that are conceptual. And uh, I do enjoy a good conceptual cover. But unfortunately, my uh, strengths are more action based. So I will always try to get down to the nitty gritty of who can be fighting who in this piece. That's what I want to do. Um, and so once we got to uh, that with this piece, um, you know, I, I was able to do it. And I love that's that's the most fun thing for me is figuring out a new way to do the same thing that I've done a million times before. And I, I mean, I, I don't think that you would ever find two covers of mine that are very similar because I'm I'm always game to uh, and I always enjoy finding that new way to have the two characters, uh, you know, fighting each other. Yeah, brilliant. And I know you spent such a long time entrenched in that Marvel world. You, you you're well aware of what fans can be like and the expectations that come with mm -hmm. certain characters. So, do you have any reservations or even nervousness about this My Hero Academia franchise and knowing the sort of expectations fans have with these characters? Uh, you know, I. I don't, I, I did that piece for Kiyun, like I said, and the reception was just incredible. Like people loved, loved it. And I think that, I think that they understand because my style is not necessarily the style that they're used to on it, that they're, they'll give it a certain amount of leeway because uh, it's not supposed to be, I think they, un, they, they get that it's supposed to be My Hero Academia in my style. Um, so, you know, the, re the reception on the last one was so great. So um, I'm, I'm really not concerned. No, no, no I, think I, that, I think that they'll love it. So, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you need to be, to be fair. And talking of Marvel, I actually just finished reading yours and Donny Cates' Venom run. I was a bit mm -hmm. behind on that one, but I just finished it a few weeks ago and I, I loved it. Oh, thank and you. I know both of you were credited as a thank you on the new Venom. And in film so mm -hmm. I, I was curious what you thought of that film and whether you maybe did any consultation work on it or whether it was just a thank you for the inspiration obviously your work has given them uh it really was just a um a, uh there was no consultation um i 
I was surprised by it. I mean, I think somebody told me before I went in to see it, because I went on opening day, but some uh, a reviewer from another site told us uh, to stay till the end of the credits, which it really was the very end of the credits. Uh, but it was, uh, I mean, that was amazing. I mean, it's one of those, it's funny because like, I can tell my family members I'm drawing Spider-Man. And that's like, you know, they kind of get it, but they probably, you know, sometimes I think, they probably think, well, like, you know, probably like a hundred people do that. So it's not that big of a deal. But then you say something like my name was in the credits of a movie and they get it, you know, that it's, that it's cool. And so, uh, yeah, that was fun to, to pass that around. It's, it's like, you know, I've been on the news a couple of times, like local news, and they, they seem to think that's cooler than anything I've done work-wise ever. <laughs> uh, but as far as the movie went, um, I did, I, I don't know if I'm a bad parent for this, but I took my uh, 10 year old and seven year old and uh, because they're huge Venom fans. And uh, I think we just had a good time with it. I thought it was a, it was a fun, you know, romp of a movie and, and didn't take itself too seriously. And uh, you know, my, my preference is a darker, more horror based Venom. Um, but you know, for what this was leaving the theater with my kids who were just elated and thought it was the best movie ever. I thought I had a good time with it. Yeah, me too. And I feel like moving forward, I know they're building towards something with Spider-Man, but mm -hmm. there's so many ideas from obviously yours and Donnie's run. They could right. from, particularly with what happened with Carnage. I can obviously see the poster behind you. I'd love to see them <clears> on that route one day. Oh, me too. Yeah. I mean, any, if anything of mine makes it into those movies, I'd be thrilled. Yeah, and of course, you, you mentioned Spider-Man, and of course, you were part of that superior Spider-Man run, which I think was really interesting because it was critically acclaimed and you had everyone, a lot of people who loved it. And then, of course, you had the opposite, people who maybe didn't love it as much because it was such a divisive story. But now you look back at that, how did it feel to be involved with telling that version of Peter Parker? Because it's something that's still affecting storylines today. And I think that just shows that people obviously, in the majority, did enjoy that. Yeah, that's, that's one, it's, it's so awesome to have done it. It is, I still, when I go to a show, I can't believe that I'm still signing uh, copies of it because I feel like at this point I have to have signed every single one that's ever existed. Uh, but, you know, that was one of my, my favorite storylines. It has to be up there with, with Venom that I've worked on. It was so well written by Dan Slott. And uh, it, was a, it, was, it was kind of my breakthrough project where, I think I had done Scarlet Spider and, you know, people kind of knew who I was, but this was, you know, on a whole new level. And uh, it, it was really fun to watch as when it was announced, um, as like the idea was announced, the hatred and vitriol from the fans was insane. Uh, but most of it directed at Dan, not me. I just kind of sat on the sidelines. But then it was so funny to, to go to conventions and hear people on Twitter and all these things where they, were, they would say, well, I really thought I was going to hate this, um, but I read it and I loved it. And then there would be, there would, the only other response was, I hate this and I refuse to read it. You know? So the people that read it all ended up loving it. And the people that didn't read it, you know, they just missed out. And uh, I think it's, it's cool to have like sort of, I think it kind of was the seminal moment of Dan's spider-man run which is you know a legendary run yeah absolutely and of course spider-man he is such an iconic character and looking ahead in your career now are you hoping to return to spider-man and these characters you have worked on before are you keen to keep on doing something new like you have with this project um well i absolutely love doing creator own like there's no there's nothing like it um this has kind of been my my two goals when i started doing comic books were obviously spider-man and then i wanted to to create our own. I want to own something that, you know, I've made and that is, uh, you know, successful. Um, so if in the event that I do more Marvel stuff, um, I absolutely, you know, would love to do more Spider-Man. I mean, there's nothing to me like that. Like that's my favorite character of all time. You know, I, that's when I, when I was doing samples, when I was trying to break into comics, it was all Spider-Man. Um, so yes, the, the, I, I would imagine that at some time in the future, I will do some Spider-Man um, and, you know, hopefully also be doing creator own, just do, do all of it, you know? 
Yeah, and talking of creator, I, mean, I know you mentioned that you and Donnie are working on Banish. So I was wondering, is there anything you can tease about that series? Because it seems to be building a lot of buzz, especially after, I think, Comic-Con a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, what can I tease about it? Well, we it's, it's sort of a... Um, it's very much in... I mean, it's me and Donnie, right? Like, so you said you read our Venom stuff. That, uh, there's very much a... It's a similar tone. Um, we kind of have our thing down um so there's that and it's it's a very mad it's magic based book but there's superheroes there's all the things that we love you know like if you take uh say spawn and you take wildcats and you know you mash all these things together um harry potter you know all these things that we love you mash them all into one book and that's what you're kind of getting from us and so it's it's it, it's really cool it's a it's probably i mean i there there really is nothing like it like where i'm creating the entire world and uh there's no precedent for how it should be drawn because i think that sometimes i'm so into the artists that came before me that it you know it kind of becomes a little stifling there's nothing to stifle me here and so it's kind of both of us off the leash and uh you know we're kind of doing things that we could never do at marvel and it's really good and i'll say this because you can if you can put this in just that we have klcpress.com um, where people can sign up for our newsletter and they can watch as we create this book like we have all kinds of process stuff and things that were as we make vanish for the fans as well as a bunch of other books that donnie's writing um on there so you know if you if they can get on there and sign up for the free newsletter and just kind of uh check it out oh yeah of course i'll, I'll make sure to spread the word on that one for you and when you're doing this creator on work now, obviously you mentioned how cool it was to get a mention in Venom's credits, but are you thinking ahead to the future that these things could be adapted to film or television or as the artist, are you just focusing on, on very much on the here and now and building these original worlds out? This is, this, that's a great question. Um, the, cause I've been thinking a lot about this lately. Like I am not, I am not making this to have anything made out of it. Like I want the publishing end to be successful enough to sustain it. Um, because I love comic books and that's what I want to do. But my ultimate dream uh, for the property would be to have an anime style series made out of it, like real true anime, like in draw, they don't have to draw it like I draw it. I like it to be drawn, you know, like My Hero Academia or something. Uh, I don't know. I think that it's just a thing that I've loved forever. And um, I think that it would, it would suit, be suited well for it. And I think um my stated goal as an artist is to reach the you know 10 to 15 year olds that that love comic books because that's when I discovered comic books and it's just like there's just this memory of that time in my life where I found this thing that like I had my place in the world and I was going to do this thing and I was obsessed with this you know one thing so um and I I think that the that the you know I would say more like 10 to 18 the 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 anime audience eats that eats this stuff up so it's like another way for me to reach that audience that I want to speak to with my work. Oh, amazing and go going back to My Hero Academia what did you enjoy most about the film so I know it's starting to roll out across the world now I think it's coming to the UK this week but what did you enjoy most about the film and obviously having had that experience of I guess maybe seeing a little earlier so you could work on that villain and, and the piece. Well unfortunately I do have the I, I was sent a screener um, but it was just like two days ago and I haven't had a chance to watch it yet because I've been working my butt off every day getting this piece done and getting Vanish done. And, uh, you know, like it's, it's, I'm, I'm do I'm putting in the, uh, 14 hour days right now. Um, so I have not seen it. It's, it's on my to-do list and I'm hoping to find some time tonight, um, to watch it. But, you know, again, like tonight I'm going to be doing a live stream and all this stuff. So my, my work day doesn't end until until late tonight so hopefully I can make time but um if I uh, if I don't make time tonight I'll make time tomorrow because I'm very excited to see it we, we actually watched the other two um movies just to to uh lead up to it but you know my kids are dying to watch it and I just can't do it yet Oh, well, that's fair enough. And must I do you find maybe it's almost free? I know you said you've been inspired by other artists before when you join a series like Venom or Spider Man. So was it maybe a little more freeing for you to do this piece without having seen the film and maybe having any preconceived notions in your head? What when you approached it, do you think? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I had seen um, the trailer, so I knew about, you know, I knew some of the things, but uh, I think there's a, there's a freedom in doing this in that I go into a project like this and I'm like, well, I don't draw like, um, you know, the anime or the manga uh, looks. So I, I know right off the bat that my strength will be to lean into what I do best. And so uh, I felt very freed in that sense. Like I didn't feel like I had to be a slave to anybody else's vision. I just, I just wanted to get their costumes right and then draw it in my style because I think that's what the project is all about is kind of seeing how somebody else interprets the world of my hero academia. Yeah, and one final question for you. Are you hopeful? I know you've obviously got a lot on your plate between the creator own work and, and everything else we've talked about, but are you hopeful to maybe return to this franchise down the line or are there any other maybe anime or manga franchises you'd like to lend your style to, do you think? Um, I would love to uh, do more with My Hero Academia. I mean, anytime that I get offered anything, you know, my ears perk up that that is related to this. So I know that Marvel's done some collaborations with them. If they do more of that, I'd love to do some work on that. Um, the, uh, yeah, the, the, this is, this is sort of my cool card with my kids that I get to play where, and my, I have a niece that's super into it too. And, and so like when I get to say, you know, I, I could say, yeah, I'm drawing Venom and it's the best selling comic book in the world right now. And they're just like, cool dad. But I say, I'm doing My Hero Academia and they're like rushing to my table to see what it looks like and you know what I'm doing. So it's really, I mean, it, selfishly, uh, that's the number one reason that I like doing it. Um, and so, yeah, anytime that that comes up, I will, um, I will definitely, you know, take them up on it. And then um, outside of that, I, I, I'm a huge, huge fan of um, Evangelion. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is one of my favorite series of like TV series ever of any genre, you know, anything. So, you know, I don't know how well I would draw that. I'm not big on drawing like big robots, but they're, they're pretty organic. So I could probably do something cool with that too. But I mean, any, any time that any of this stuff comes up, I would definitely give it a shot because my hero academia is clearly the best option for me because it's superhero based. Um, but you know, all this stuff is fun to explore what what you're capable of yeah well, definitely well thank you so much for your time ryan i'm a big fan and longtime fan of your work and as i said love to you what you did on venom so i can't wait for vanish and looking forward to people being able to see this piece as well next week thanks so much dude it was nice meeting you you too thanks so much ryan